How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a stormy evening. Well, I'm on the road outside of Murkwater Construction here where I finished my creepy mansion build. Did all the decorating. And of course once again I went overboard. I built a garage out here on the roadway so I could drive in and park my truck in the garage. Looks like I left my headlights on. Anyways, uh, I came here to show you the finished product, the final tour of the creepy mansion, so let's get started with that. What's this? Marcy Long? Could it be that they buried Marcy Long out here in the swamps? What's this? Preston Garvey. What are they doing? Burying all the irritating people out here? If they are, they can't be that bad. Now who's this? Nicholas Cage. Nick? Oh man, Ghost Rider, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, man. Anyways, I built this rickety bridge, and I wanted to start this uh, video out at nighttime just for effects. And it's, you know, the kind of a trip that a sane person would never want to make at night. Wasteland Hero Settler John Well, you know, I'd rather see this during the daytime. It's not so creepy and we can see better. So why don't we do that? Alright, that's better. At least now we'll be able to see what's going on here. So the first thing you probably notice is that I added a second landing. I just thought it it went a long ways towards making this place bigger. For some reason, uh, the Minutemen showed up. And I can't seem to get rid of them, so I decided to work around them. I moved dog meat out on the side here. For some reason, he doesn't like to come up on the landings. I don't know why. Now the Meyer Lurks are actually food. They're from the Better Stores mod. And also from Better Stores are the, the Guard Dogs. So I added roof trim, some columns, and wrought iron railings. And I thought it went a long ways towards making this place seem larger and more grand. got a couple hatches that go down into the basement. We won't go in that way. We'll hit the basement last. Over here is Sanders. He's one of the guards. He patrols with an M16. Now Snappy House Kit really doesn't have materials to make a, a mansion look creepy. So I had to use the settlers to kind of get the creepy factor going. I added another row of foundation blocks all the way around so that I could actually make the porch go around the house. So let's go inside and look around. And of course just inside the door we see Dylan the butler. Now this shoe rack is actually from a mod called Crimson Riders Unique Furniture which features furniture and objects that can uh, either be assigned to a settler or can be interactive. So this is the dining room and of course big table, lots of settings. 
the settler in the bathrobe and slippers belongs in the basement as you'll see in a little while so over here is the pantry and the washer is actually a, a chemistry station now in the kitchen I got rid of that other door I only wanted this this way into the kitchen and I had to assign someone to actually uh, work in the kitchen with food so that the settlers would stop hanging in the swamps but I really liked the idea of that center island I thought it, it uh, really made this kitchen look pretty cool So that's the kitchen and the dining room. And we'll scoot across the hall and check out the living room. Now there's a series of mods by Andrew CX. If you download the master plan, then you can also download a few other mods. Two that I'm using are Port, Port Royal and Adam's Greatness. Now these model ships came from the Port Royal mod and those mods have a bunch of different building materials and decorations and whatever good mods I would recommend them and uh, you know I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out what mods I'm using I decided to make this into a lounge it took me forever to get those cans to hang from her hand. They kept wanting to kind of hang a little bit sideways for some reason. The chest set is interactive. So is the pool table. So there's a lot of furniture and objects from that mod that's uh, interactive. The downstairs bathroom this is the only room that I left the wallpaper the way it was other than the halls so that's the downstairs I added banisters to the stairway here so apparently these people are interested in Institute synths let's check out some bedrooms now the snappy house kit uh, has a ton of different wallpapers and rugs and the really nice thing about it is they all snap the wallpapers snap to the walls the rugs snap to the floors so there's not a lot of uh, having to argue with the with the pieces or anything they they work really nice and a lot of different choices I didn't have to uh, you know do two rooms the same at all as far as furniture all these bedrooms are pretty much the same there's a bed a couple of chairs dresser whatever But you'd never know by looking at this that it's wallpaper. It just looks like uh, just looks like paneling. So the bedrooms didn't come out too bad. You know, I really liked the way they came out. And of course that leaves us with the upstairs bathroom. This 
same way with this tile floor it's a rug you'd never know to look at it leaves one more room up here which is the library Now Martin works in the library and he's working at another piece of unique furniture which is a secretary's desk. And it comes just like you see it with the computer, the files stacked on there and whatever. But I spent some time putting in bookcases, books. And the settler over in the corner here for some reason he belongs in the basement and I can never get him to stay down there he always stands up here in the corner I added a few different items on the table just to make it look like people been up here using the library got a map of the commonwealth here and you've probably heard that sound in the background and it's coming from up here on the roof so let's check it out over here in the corner got a satellite dish HBO <laughs> A relay dish of course that's the recruitment beacon and an HBO satellite so what's this thing an HBO super receiver you'd never know to look at it It looks like something a, a crazy scientist would be using so apparently this guy's getting some really uh, really good TV stations here so anyways that's the roof And that's all the rooms upstairs. And of course we already checked out the downstairs. So the only place left is the basement. And that's where I tried to get the creepy thing going with the settlers. We'll see if it worked out. We've got a doctor or a scientist. It's got a couple people in memory loungers. Also unique furniture. Is that the mechanist? I doubt it. Working on a robot. This unit is ready to serve. So a lot of equipment down here. There's one of the hatches. Of course, we've got to have our armor and weapons workbenches down here. Looks like we got a couple of synths. Secret bookcase. And behind it, a secret wall. So let's see what they're doing back here that's a secret. Okay, this isn't looking good right from square one here. Looks like he's burying a body in the basement. That's not a good thing, huh? Now the guy up in the library 
should be working on this girl here, but he never shows up. This synth is also another interactive object. You can assign a settler to it. And I spent a while on this uh, this case here. I don't know why. I just decided to put some animatronics in there and play around with it a little bit. Over here, looks like we've got another test subject. Who knows what they're doing to that guy. It looks like cryo chambers. This one's empty. She's up in the dining room. There is someone in that one. And there's someone in that one. So this is where all the test subjects sleep. Those beds are from the G2M mod. Another secret wall, secret bookcase. And of course it took us right back in a circle. So that's pretty much the basement. I really had fun with that uh, grave area that he's digging at. Part of Adam's greatness. Excellent mod. So let's head back up and we'll take the short route. So that was a quick way to get outside. Actually, I'm messing with you. I added that load screen in. These doors don't actually work. But it'd be neat if they did. So anyways, that's my creepy mansion, which didn't end up so creepy as far as the mansion went, but hopefully the uh, settlers helped make it a little bit creepy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. I appreciate it when you do. And as always, uh, subscribe for more videos. I put out new videos every week. Got a special one I'm working on for next week. Hopefully it'll be ready. But until then, I want to thank you for watching. And I will see you again next week.